Hello, my name is Todor Plashko from MCAT Bulgaria and today we continue our work on, uh, on the gear reducer uh, with the finishing touches of our uh, lower part and especially the fillets, uh, chamfer uh, and a few holes. Okay, last time we, were, uh, we finished our main part of uh, the lower uh, gear reducer and right now we will make uh, some uh, fillets. Okay, first of all, I have to uh, get some uh, dimensions from uh, our uh, DWG drawing. Let me see the radius of uh, these fillets. All right, uh, radius four millimeters, five. Okay. Here also five, and the other ones uh, most probably are the same. Okay, so the command, of course, to create fillets, it's called fillet in Inventor. And when I click with the right button somewhere in the uh, window, I can uh, choose the command fillet. It's uh, it's uh, uh, right above uh, the cursor, or I I can hold the right button. Uh, um, mouse button and uh, make uh, let's say a virtual uh, line to select this uh, command so I select uh, the edges that I will do a fillet on them of course, uh, as you see it's not uh, obligatory to see them I just have to position course the cursor somewhere where they should be and after that I can see what will happen after I uh, press the OK button. Of course you can uh, use the uh, apply button which is the plus sign in this uh, little menu that is uh, on the screen. Ok, I'll continue with the fillets. Uh, second uh, fillets, this one, there were I think 4 millimeters. I will not create all the fillets in this a lower part, but most of them I have to change my view, alright let me see, are there any others, other uh, fillets right here so they are different, I think, uh, 2 millimeters and this was 4 millimeters, okay let me go back to the to the drawing and see the these dimensions. The radius is two. The next one maybe it's all, all also two. Okay, and the on the other part are the same. Here, let's check here two also here two also. All right. I'll go back to my 3D model and I'll create this, those fillets. Fillets, these fillets, 2 millimeters, and then I, as you see again, I don't have to see the, the edge, I just know where, uh, somewhere, somewhere here, alright. I don't have always, uh, and uh, I don't have uh, to uh, change my view all the time. Fillets here also, here also. Maybe there is some fillet in the center part of uh, uh, down there, but it's not in the in the drawing. So anyway, it's after all, it's not that important. The idea is to see how you can uh, create these fillets. Okay, these fillets are uh, ready. As you see, I can see the uh, edges from the view tab and the visual style. You can uh, create, uh, you can select a different style of uh, visualization of your uh, details or your assemblies. As you see, uh, I'm using uh, the shaded with the edges because I want to um, have a better look at the edges, especially the edges. Of course, you can use the other part. I suggest you. To do not use the real realistic view because uh, every time you 
uh, switch to another view it's, it's rendering so it takes some time let's continue with some uh, other fillets here is our four millimeter uh, five millimeters radius here are two as you can see as you saw in the drawing it's not very correctly draw uh, draw all right here is five millimeters okay that's a good one and in the upper part there are two I think right here Okay, with two millimeter radius drawn. Uh, the drawing you are watching, I'm using for my. Uh, there is a chamfer here. I'm using. It's not very correctly drawn, as you may notice in the other parts of my lesson. So that's why I'm I'm uh, taking some dimensions from it, if it's correct. You can always use uh, uh, as a, a 2D part of your sketch. All right, I will choose the, of course, the command for creating chamfers. It's called chamfer, and it's right uh, next to the fillet command. Okay, one millimeter was the distance of the chamfer, so I select again the edges. Uh, there are some uh, other things you can uh, choose here uh, like uh, degrees and uh, distance uh, and uh, uh, the two uh, uh, two sides of uh, the triangular that's creating the the chamfer and other thing and uh, that's that's the three uh, ways of creating a chamfer let me see another uh, fillet I will create as you as you see uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, front view it's not very correctly drawn. Uh, there are some edges that are visible, but uh, they are not drawn here. So, okay. Uh, so we will see. Uh, we will create uh, create them now. Of course, uh, it's much more harder to draw them when to draw them when uh, they are when you haven't uh, the 3D model. So. That's another plus for the 3D models, I think. Okay, I will create the fillets. Maybe you remember in the last, uh, in the I don't know, I think the second lesson, I created uh, this part of uh, the gear reducer. Okay, let me check this. Let's create some few fillets here. This edge, uh, maybe the upper edge here. Uh, this edge here, maybe there are some others edges. Who knows? Uh, that's not so important. Of course, uh, maybe it's technically correct. All the edges uh, to be uh, to, uh, they must be uh, they must have fillets because they will be dangerous. Uh, they will be dangerous to use. But uh, I don't have all the dimensions, so I just create some of them. You see. Right, something like that. I'm not very sure that is the abs absolutely correct fillets. It's not very important right now. Okay, uh, let's see what else we can do. Enough with those fillets. Let's create some uh, holes. These hole, uh, these holes here, and these the upper one. Let's start with the upper one. Uh, as you can see, there is a there is a part we should add some solid so I should uh, dimension it it's uh, 5 millimeters uh, the height and uh, let's say 22 let's, we will see how much alright let me uh, let me measure where it's correctly positioned 90 millimeters from the bottom Okay, so I will create a sketch here on this uh, side. I just create this, the wall, the side, and uh, then uh, Inventor suggests three commands. I select the third command. Then I position the circle. As you can see, I am using the, uh, I'm placing it in the center, at least the center from from the one side. 
22 millimeters was the dimension and after that I will position it correctly from here to here uh, no I made a mistake from here to here okay when you select an unprojected uh, geometry it projects uh, it projects automatically so you don't have to use the project geometry command so that's the correct place of this uh, additional solid we should add of course I will extrude it with five millimeters height okay see the is the uh, <clears throat> the direction correct it is so the next command I will use of course is the whole command uh, let me see the dimension of the uh, this hole. It uh, let's dimension it. Or of course, from here to here, it's ah, there is a there. Of course, there is a dimension M M14. Why I should measure it? I, I'm not very sure. Okay, I will create this uh, hole. Command the command hole is next to the fillet command on the left of the command fillet command. Uh, the whole command uh, I think uh, you can use it again by the right click uh, of your mouse. I'm using the pla for placement. I'm using concentric. And first I I show to where to start this hole from uh, which side. And then next I I am selecting to be to which geometry my hole is concentric then I uh, select uh, isometric profile for uh, <coughs> for the thread uh, 40 millimeters and uh, I right now I'll stay to roll because I wanted to show you something after that so right hand uh, thread or left hand and as you can see the threads can be not uh, can be in, uh, f I think I selected f I s six millimeters. The tree, the depth of the tree can be six millimeters, but there is a one thick where they say uh, which is a full depth. That means to the whole uh, depth of this um, hole, the thread uh, there will be a thread. All right, I I create the second hole. The second hole. Let me check it again. It's uh, M10, but uh, let me check. It is very correct. Maybe it's 10, of course. Yeah, it's 10. <laughs> yeah, it's not correctly drawn again, but it's M10. Let me see uh, where is exactly placed. Maybe. Uh, let me see. It's the exact place, of course, I'm uh, searching for the center, nothing more. Here to here, 50 millimeters. Okay, of course, the, the, the lower part was 50 millimeters, and uh, it, it was in the center. Okay, I'm again using the hole command, but this time I will, uh, for the placement, I will choose linear placement. I will I will show how to use this kind of placement. First, uh, first I have to show again from where to start, from wh what side I will start my hole, and then uh, I will select two uh, reference geometries. First one is the lower uh, edge, and 50 millimeters from it. And then the, from the left or the right edge, uh, 102.5. That is uh, exactly the half uh, way of uh, the half part of the uh, width of my lower part. All right. Next thing, next thing I want to show you uh, is how to create a virtual plane or a virtual view plane of your uh, detail. That uh, and uh, I will use it to. Uh, correct or to edit my last two commands, the command that I will I use them for to control uh, to create holes. From the view tab, I I go to end section view or and uh, push the 
uh, and select half section view. After that I can create a virtual plane to cut my detail but uh, the difference is here difference here from the split command is that I just uh, virtually split my detail. I actually did not remove any material from my detail. Okay. Uh, and as you see I can uh, I can see in the inner part in the inner part of this detail. So I just uh, choose not true all but distance. I double click on the call to command and just uh, from termination I choose distance distance and then uh, move uh, the width the depth uh, just a little bit less. Okay, again I will uh, uh, edit the second command for creating hole and after that I will just uh, move. You can also use the, uh, not the distance, termination distance, you can use two and you have then to select to which geometry, to which uh, work plane or a side or something like this to be, uh, this uh, hole to be created. Okay, to uh, go back to my previous view, I just have to go again on the view tab, again on the half section, and create end section view. View tab, and section view. Okay. That's, uh, that's enough for uh, this lesson. In the next lesson, I will create uh, the shafts, the bearings, and if there is enough time, I will create, of course, the gear reducer. It's a very interesting lesson, I'm sure. And uh, maybe at uh, lesson after next, I will cr I will show you uh, how to create a bolted connection. Thank you.